now. Then he gets ready to face the left-handed hitting left fielder, Rigsby Mosley, in the first pitch of the night. In there at 92 miles an hour, a good, certainly big for Tommy Mace. This guy's not too shabby either, though. Drew Federick, first pitch swing. He lines one into left field, and that ball is down. So Federick, the shortstop, the senior, the Florida native from Niceville, has the first base runner of the game. Hitting 313 on the young season. Pops this one up. Shallow center field. Fabian coming in. Langworthy coming in. And Langworthy on a slide. Can't make the catch. That ball is down. And a ball right there into no man's land falls. And it's first and third with two outs here for the Trojans. Well, the wind is going to play havoc tonight. It's blowing from right to left field. And that's why Langworthy ended up going after it at the last second. But initially, you look at that play, you got to say that's Fabian's ball coming in. Yeah, if he keeps coming. The way you want it. This one lined up the middle, and Troy will, in fact, take an early lead as Bartolero almost takes Mace's head off with a breaking ball. And just like that, it's 1-0. And Bartolero's one of these guys on the top in the nation hitting doubles this season but you can see he swings a good bat line drive right up the middle the advantage the one two pitch that one off the glove of the catcher greenfield and, and he got crossed up yeah, he was looking like, for something off speed yeah there's no question there's no way that uh, he thought that pitch was coming and they're gonna have a little chat right there and mace Gets him to chase on a 93 mile an hour fastball. So Mock strikes out, but through their first eight games. Langworthy goes the other way, and there is the third hit that <laughs> Levi Thomas has given up. Nice job by Langworthy, too. Shortening the stroke with two strikes. One, two, hit hard, but right at the second baseman. And Austin Garfalo will make the play on the easy one hop. So the Gators get a hit, but leave a runner stranded. And you, you see that anymore slow roller out towards Acton he'll scoop it up and Mace has himself a one two three second inning to hang his first zero on the score so Young back in there breaking ball slow roller there is the swinging bunt and Young's gonna get his first hit of the night and for Jacob Young 12th hit of the year that's one behind Fabian for the team lead Armstrong lines this one in the center. That ball is going to get down. Young saw it all the way, so he'll go first to third on a nice turn. And the Gators with runners on the corners and only one out here in the second inning. The 3-2 pitch again outside ball four. So bags full of pinstripe white jerseys. And the Gators have a chance to not only tie it, but take the lead if they're nine hole. So we'll see what Thomas chooses to do. He goes four spot again, and strike three is called on a pitch that looked off the plate, but another quality offering from Levi Thomas, who gets his second strike. Fabian pops up this fastball. Right center field, sink field, the right fielder comes in and gets it, and Levi Thomas pumps his fist. He is extremely excited to get out of that jam and put a zero on the board for this Gator off under Kevin O'Sullivan, if you can believe that. First pitch is lined in left field by Rigsby Mosley, and ho-hum, that is now a 16-game hitting streak for the Troy leadoff man. Friends and family here in attendance. This one lined right out to Acton. He can't handle it, and that ball is going to trickle into center field for another base hit. Federick's got his second in as many at-bats, and here come the Trojans once again. Sitting 288 on the year. He squares the bunt, a perfect bunt. Mace will let McMullen have it. The throw is going to beat him, so a successful sacrifice for Sinkfield. But you don't too often see the three-hole hitter bunting, but he laid down perfectly. The 2-2 pitch, and there's a ground ball to second, and that will bring in the second run as Kirk does his job. And Troy now leads it 2-0 on the 11th RBI of the year for the cleanup man. They're going to appreciate that. you got to tip your cap once again to Dalton Sunfield Lane. A lot of fastballs here to the catcher. And sticks with one and finally retires him on a swing and a miss on the outer part of the plate. But a couple of singles to start off the inning. 
Langworthy chops one fair down the right field line. He's going to have himself a double. As Singfield goes over and gets it. So Langworthy goes to left his first at bat, right his second at bat. And he's the leadoff man on here in scoring position from the third. Spray it And again, Levi Thomas gets a huge strikeout. His fourth, two in the second, two more here in the third. The center field fence, it was at a 90. Let's watch, get the, you need your play by play here. Yeah, Langworthy can't run that ball down. So Kyle Mock, the freshman, goes the other way, and that's a leadoff double. So the Gators got a leadoff double wow. in the third. It couldn't score. We'll see what happens here. Oh, my goodness. And it's a fly ball to center These guys field. Are Fabian will get it. And uh, the curse of the leadoff double continues. It happened to Florida. It happens to Troy. Actually practice that. You'd hit fly oh, balls yeah. out yeah. to yeah, him. You had to yeah, slow, you had to slow your steps up. Yeah, absolutely. And so we'd practice that. Well, here's another fly ball to right field. And that is the first one, two, three inning for the right-hander, Levi Thomas. The one, two pitch again. See ya. Good fastball on the inner part of the plate. So back-to-back -back strikeouts after Federick swipes second base. Goes again. Langworthy hits it out in the gap in right center field. It's sinking, and it's in, in the glove of Dalton Sinkfield. So nine in a row. Retire. A volunteer coach as he's finishing up his degree. This one lined right at Kirby McMullen on one hop, and his throw is in plenty of time to retire the side. So leadoff single, but Mace gets out of it quickly. And we for it this time. There is that change up and they're gonna get him again. Fly ball to center field. Smith will hang on to this one. And the Gators strand another base runner. That is the six men. Ingles. Mace hasn't been able to get him out, but he should here as this one's rolled out towards Acton. And uh, that will retire the side. So Mace seven strong. He gives up nine hits. Where Young got that single. And then Butler flew out. Here's a ground ball left side. Going to be a tough play for the shortstop, Federick. And it will not be in time as Rivera has himself an infield single. So no, he has certainly shortened it up. 3-2 pitch is not even close. So for the first time this year, Lance Johnson issues a free pass and a couple of Gators. And two outs for Langworthy. First pitch, line in the left field. That ball is going to get down for a base hit. Rivera will score, bobbled again by the center fielder. So that's going to allow Hickey to get to third base and Langworthy to second base. And the Gators finally break through as Lance Johnson gives up the run. And Langworthy has his third hit of the night. Well, let's start right here with Langworthy going with the pitch. Didn't try to pull it, stayed on it, line drive left center field. And I talked about the fact that Logan well, certainly is not playing center field. And you can see him going with the pitch. You can see the head on it, shoulder on it. And right here, he's going to come up. And as he tries to get it out of his glove, it pops out. And low 30, so I love it. 2-1 line, and that's a base hit. One run's going to score. Here comes Langworthy. He will score. And McMullen with a huge Two out, base hit to give the Gators two runs and the lead for the first time tonight. I've said it once, I've said it a million times. RBIs win you games, but two out RBIs win you championships. And right here is a pitch up, keeps his hands back. And Lars Davis, he loves coaching there when he can wave that potential lead run in. So as good as Levi Thomas was, six shutout innings. They go to Lance Johnson, and he can't get him through the bottom of the seventh inning. But there again, that pitch shows you right. Determination. McMullen runs on the 3-2, grounded right side. It's going to be a close play. Pitcher covering, not in time, a head first slide. And Acton is safe with the infield base hit, the fourth single. Here in the early part of the season, 2-2 two -two to Young. Swing and a miss, went back to the changeup. And they're able to get to get a right fielder. But a big inning. Emmy at two outings, only gave up one hit. And he's going to give up one here as Dalton Sinkfield goes after a first pitch fastball and sinks it into right field. So just like that, ready to hit. And Pogue misses high to him, ball four. About to find out. A ball and two strikes. They go fastball and it's by him. Some Cajun heat right there by you. Nine times this year. 
awaits the pitch and rolls it out to the second baseman. Garfalo has it and will throw across in time. So the leadoff sink. And an off speed pitch gives Sullivan the hat trick. And Speck gets the first out here in the ninth. But he will not. Fastball on the outer part of the plate. And Speck goes back to back strikeouts here. And one out left from Hickey. And the pitch. Got him on a changeup. So Speck comes in, gets his first save of the season, striking out the side. And the Gators remain undefeated with a 3 to 2 victory. Florida now 9 and 0 on the season in for Troy. They lose for just the second time. The Trojans now 8-2, but what a heck of a baseball game on a Friday night.